There's a lot of different nonprofits out there that are doing awesome jobs out in the community, but just doesn't have the big title or the big names that are not getting recognized. Mark Hill is the CEO of Parents Overseeing Planted Seeds and a community leader with Gangs for Peace. Both nonprofits are focusing on bettering his community on a grassroots level. He says it's difficult receiving funding for his efforts because bigger organizations often overshadow smaller groups when funding is given out. We've been here for four years doing outstanding jobs, pretty much um, have fish fries, uh, uh, ask our church or ask, ask people to donate to um, do the things that we do. On Wednesday, he heard about a new way Richland County is hoping to help those small operations. Richland County Councilwoman Gretchen Barron says the county is offering $16 million in funding for both small businesses and nonprofits. The money comes from the federal government as American Rescue Plan dollars and could be dispersed by the end of December. This pot of money is really just that. This is a hand to help them move forward. She adds that eligible nonprofits must be registered with the IRS and labeled 501c3. $15 million will go specifically to nonprofits and an additional million dollars will be for small businesses. You can apply on richlandcountysc.gov and there will be a rolling deadline of September 30th. As a county, we, we are often stepping in to aid and assist the residents. Leonardo Brown is a county administrator. He says beyond the application, Richland County will provide workshops to help people apply. So those nonprofit organizations generally provide direct services to citizens within the community. So those nonprofits would be the best avenue to get those dollars out. Jay Smith is the founder of Rise and Shine Inspiration and also a part of Gangs for Peace. At the end of the day, he sees the funding as a potential to make things better in the community. You know, you know even with the funding coming, the resources coming, it can lead to us working more together as, you know, different organizations to just, you know, take out over to all the impact we can. Reporting in Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX.